Hi guys, welcome back to ANG DIY. So today we're gonna do a really simple one because I'm currently waiting on a couple of orders from Ikea for some of the more large scale projects that I'm going to work on. So instead I'm gonna do something that I've been looking forward to. We're going to do DIY kitchen canisters. You'll see these often in kitchens where they house coffee or sugar or tea or any number of things. They're really cute and especially for myself, I drink a lot of coffee. I have uh, beans that I get on a subscription basis and I also drink a lot of tea now and I do loose leaf so I wanted somewhere to house these items other than my pantry because my pantry is full enough I like food <laughs> so I thought it'd be a really cute way and a really um you know fun way to kind of organize those items and to kind of have them on display and have them on hand so I've been looking for canisters that would fit the bill for what I need and that's one that's on the larger side because of my coffee obsession and then two for my tea. But the problem with me looking for these canisters is that they are so expensive. Like I'm talking, I found a set of three jars similarly shaped size to this one for like $35. A canister of about this size costs $8 a piece. So I figured it was something that seemed simple enough to be able to upcycle yourself. So these three jars, I don't know if you can tell, are all from food pantry items that have been very happily consumed. <laughs> And since these jars all came from my pantry, that means that they originally had big old stickers on there. When I took off the stickers and I dishwashed them, uh, some of the adhesive residue remained. So an easy way, a little quick tip to get that off is steel wool or um, Brillo pads, I think is like the, the brand name for it. But you just take the steel wool, wet it, scrub it down, it takes a couple minutes and it takes the sticker clean off. I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully it's nice and easy and I'm going to head outside and get spray painting. First thing, shake the cans well. Hold the spray can 9 to 12 inches away from the jar and spray a nice thin coat. You'll be able to go back and apply more coats as you go. Allow ample time to dry fully in between coats. It is important not to apply a thick coat because it will be difficult to dry and the coat could be uneven. So I let the jars dry overnight and then here we are the next day with our finished result. I think it is super cute. It is exactly how I expected it to come out with the nice solid coating of paint and then the gray top. They're gonna look so great sitting on my DIY shelf, pegboard shelf, which is a little uh, hint hint for a video coming down the line in a couple weeks. I'm just going to finish off with the final touch, which is going to be the writing. So I don't know if you guys have seen um, a lot of jars and other dining wear accessories have had this really cool print on it. This has been a really popular style lately, so I'm going to try to sort of recreate that for these. But before I draw on it with the oil-based paint pen, I've learned my lesson from too many times not doing this. I'm going to start off using just plain old pencil to draw exactly what I want onto the jar because I have a bad habit of getting really overexcited, jumping into a project, and then realizing halfway through I definitely did not set myself up for success. So we're gonna do that first. I'm going to start by using pencil to draw out the letters that I want displayed on the jar. Once I am happy with how it looks, I will move on to using the oil-based paint pen. Using the paint pen, I will trace the words I've written in pencil. It's important to shake the Mod Podge before, roll it around on a table. Next, I will seal the paint pen and the spray paint on the jar itself using dishwasher safe Mod Podge glue. This will allow for the jar to be put in the dishwasher if needed. All right, so I put the coat of dishwasher safe Mod Podge on all of the jars and the lids. They're going to dry now. And I honestly might even end up making a couple more just because I really love how they came out and I do see using them for a variety of items, not just the coffee and the tea that I initially planned on. And all these principles you are actually going to see very shortly because the next project that I'm working on is going to be slightly different than all the making to move items that I've 
produced so far. I won't spoil it quite yet, but you're going to be seeing the paint pens and the dishwasher safe Mod Pod next week. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really exciting. It's going to be a little bit different format than how I have been doing it, but I think it's going to be a nice fun break before we jump into some of the really major projects that I'm making for my apartment. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to let these dry now and then hopefully I will get them filled with coffee and filled with tea and that's going to be great. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, please share, tell your friends that we have a lot more fun things coming up. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.